Hello everyone, welcome back. It's the hottest day of the year and I'm in Wales and behind me is Barry Island. Well, I'm on Barry Island. Now, Barry Island is famous for a certain TV show called Gavin and Stacey. And there is so much more to Barry Island than just the fun fair and the beach. Let's go and take a look. So I'm just heading on to Barry Island. Barry's all over there. We'll go and check out Gavin and Stacey's house a little bit later on in the video. I love this. When you come into Barry Island, this 3D sculpture of a guy doing some fishing, grabbing a boot, the lady sunbathing and the kids snorkeling. Bet you won't see too much of that on Barry Island. You can probably see the fun fair in front of us. And if I just cross over the road, you get to see some old Barry Island signage. So a question you might be wondering, is Barry Island an actual island? The Barry Island Peninsula was an island until the 1800s when it was linked to the mainland of the town of Barry when that expanded. So let's head into Barry Island and see why you should visit. So the sun's gone in a little bit, but it is the warmest day of the year in Wales today. I don't know whether Barry Island's taking that title, but uh, the car thermometer said 30 degrees, which is very warm. So coming up to the famous Barry Island Fun Fair, which is on my left hand side. We're just around the back side of it at the moment. Some retro amusements on the seafront and also not many places do you find a Greg's on the seafront as well. Look at that. Barry Island, you've got it going on. We need more Greg's on the seafront. Also right next door to Casper's, one of my favorite places to go for dessert that makes me feel sick. Look at this, look, Barry Bados. What a great name. I need to get a bag, Barry Bados. You can see Gavin and Stacey merchandise. <laughs> There's plenty of souvenir shops. Now, some people love it. Some people hate Barry Island. You can let us know in the comments if you love or hate it. So this has expanded over the years, to be honest, because there wasn't really much on here. But you can see how busy the beach gets. Just check this out. This isn't even the school holidays just yet when this was filmed, but look how busy the beach is. crazy so if you've never seen the TV show you may or may not know this area obviously used quite a lot with the amusements behind and Marco's calf and you see references to Gavin and Stacy everywhere if you haven't watched the TV show you definitely need to it is hilarious and they're gonna be doing a new series soon back on the island Stacy obviously used to work in Marco's calf get the chalk ices in so under here you can get fish and chip and there's a couple of amusements down here, I think, as well. If you love your retro amusement, it's definitely worth coming down here. You can have your Baywatch moment, outside showers, which is really good to have. There's not many beaches in the UK that actually have that. When you get off the beach and you've all got that sand and the sea salt on you, it's good to get it off. There you go, there's Nessa. <laughs> at the change counter. So you can get, what are these? Fridge magnets, Barry Island, Dave Coaches, Uncle Bryn. You get stickers, and obviously where Nessa was working. <laughs> oh, what's occurring? Mugs, shot glasses. Shout out to Boofies, the world famous fish and chips on Barry Island. Definitely a must. We would like to remind all members of the public that Barry Island Resort is a no alcohol zone except for licensed areas. Thank you. 
What I'll do is I'll walk up towards those beach huts as well, and of course we'll check out the Barry Island Fun Fair. So although Barry Island is small, it's got such a great atmosphere. All right, the sun's out today, but because there's quite a lot to do here and places to eat food, I think it's got a great atmosphere. So this part of Barry Island and the beach is called Whitmore Bay. Do you know it's so good to see beaches busy like this? There's so many different resorts now up and down the UK that just don't seem to pull in the crowds on the beach like they used to. So a little bit of a map of uh, Whitmore Bay here on Barry Island. This is where we are right now. We just walked through there. We're gonna have a walk up here before we head into the, uh, the famous fun fair. But if you go all the way around, there is another beach as well called Jackson's Bay. Loving the, what they're called, yucca plants that are lining this part of the seafront. One thing this beach doesn't have is illuminations that go along the seafront. They're just pretty bulk standard lights. Shame really, isn't it? Now this is what you call a big beach umbrella under those picnic tables, look at that. Good idea though. Shame there's nothing under here. It's a bit empty. And of course, the seaside resort is not complete without beach huts. Barry Island beach huts. There's not too many. I think there's only about 20. There's 10 of them, 12 along here, and there's a few more around here. On a day like today, there's nobody in them. I wonder if these are as expensive as some beach huts around the country. And something very unusual on the seafront, a climbing wall, very, very simple climbing wall. I guess that's for little kids. At least this is a little bit more spongy. A few more showers up here, public loose. Again, what's up there? It's like Barry Island's version of Stonehenge. About 24 beach huts here, and that's about it. So you'll have to tell me in the comments if this has ever been used as a, a live music area. I don't know. It looks good. Echoey, so I guess it would be good for music, but I don't know. It looks, is there a point to this space? You can probably tell me in the comments. So when people come to Barry Island, I think a lot of people miss this up here. You walk around towards Jackson Bay. Let's go and check it out. So looking over the Bristol Channel, I think mine, mine heads, I think in that direction, Western Supermare. So it's around about a 10 minute scenic walk to Jackson's Bay. I think it's definitely worth it. I'm surprised the TV show never made reference to this beach because it's lovely. As you come up to Jackson's Bay, you do get that feel that you've discovered a beach. But I would say that a lot of people don't go on, but they do. This is like one of those beaches that you'd find abroad and you'd have to drive like an hour to get to. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been to this beach. So Barry Docks are just in front of us, but the beach is really lovely. Look at that, fine sand. It's obviously popular with uh, a lot of younger people. So leaving the beach behind, and that's exactly what my wife would say, happiness is in a donut. A 
got some pretty nice themed gardens here, look. Obviously, lots of music on this park. I'm going to have to keep talking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the big wheel, actually, to get a bird's eye view of Barry Island a bit better. Let's head in. So this has had so many different rides in the years it's been here. And what I love about it, the rides always do seem to get a bit of an upgrade as well. It always feels a bit odd, though, because it's kind of on a car park. Well, it is on a car park. I can't say I've ever seen a ride like this before. I don't think I've ever seen a mini waltzer before. Ah, that is brilliant. Right, so I get my tokens here, do I? How much is it? One token, one pound? Ah, typical. So this is four tokens and they do three tokens and six tokens, so pay a fiver. Blimey, I couldn't do that. Which is it, four? Four, yeah. So there's obviously a good reason why I've decided to come on this, because you get a much better view of Barry Island from the big wheel. Here we are, right at the top. full view of Barry Island. So this might just look like any normal street in the UK, or is it? If you're a fan of the TV show, you'll know that Trinity Street in Barry is a very famous street. So we've got two girls here. Hi. Are you local? No, we're from Clatley. Right, and you've come all the way to see the Gavin and Stacey house. Yeah. Are you big fans? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. So people don't believe that it's actually filmed inside. We have to be respectful because actually somebody lives here, but on here look, you've got photos of all the cast and crew doing their thing. Obviously, if you're a big fan of the TV show, you'll know what this house is all about. And the house that is opposite too. What's those dates on the door? Oh, day two and visit. All like oh, right. So the lady does do visiting. So the next date this lady will open up her door will be the 15th. Okay. It's very nice of her to do that. Does she charge? No. No? She no. does it for free? Wow, that is amazing. Just like those girls, I'm a big fan of the TV show. If you want to see more whales, click the videos here. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe. I'll see you next time.